The Comac C919 and the Airbus A320 represent two significant players in the narrow-body commercial aircraft market, each reflecting its manufacturer's vision for the future of aviation. The C919, developed by the Chinese aerospace manufacturer Comac, aims to challenge established Western dominance with its advanced technology and cost-effective design. In contrast, the Airbus A320, a stalwart of global aviation for decades, continues to set benchmarks for efficiency, safety, and passenger comfort. This comparison explores the key differences and similarities between these two aircraft, highlighting their design philosophies, performance metrics, and market implications. The Comac C919 is slightly longer, at 38.9 meters, 127.6 feet, compared to the Airbus A320, which measures 37.57 meters, 123.3 feet. C919 has maximum takeoff weight 72.5 tons, while the Airbus A320 has a higher maximum takeoff weight 78 tons. The C919 can carry up maximum payload up to 20.4 tons, slightly more than the A320, which is 19.9 tons. Both aircraft use CFM engines. The C919 is powered by CFM LEAP 1C, while the A320 uses the older CFM 56-5B. C919 has range of 4,139 kilometers, while Airbus A320 offers a significantly longer range of 6,200 kilometers. The C919 is priced at around $99 million, while the Airbus A320 costs about $111 million. In terms of passenger capacity, the C919 accommodates 158 to 168 seats in typical two-class configurations, slightly undercutting the A320neo flexibility for up to 194 in high-density single-class setups, allowing the Airbus model greater versatility for varying route demands in 2025 airline networks. Comac has significantly reduced its 2025 delivery targets for the C919 due to ongoing supply chain constraints. Initially planning for 75 deliveries, up from an earlier 30 plane goal, the company has slashed this to just 25 aircraft, marking a two-thirds cut from prior ambitions. This follows reports of falling behind on earlier targets, with production capacity scaling issues persisting into the year. While Airbus is set to inaugurate a second final assembly line for the A320neo family at its mobile Alabama facility in October 2025, this expansion aims to increase overall production capacity and reinforce U.S. manufacturing presence following a decade of operations in the region. Geopolitically, the C919 faces headwinds from Western export controls that briefly disrupted its CFM-powered variants, potentially delaying African market entry. While the A320 benefits from unrestricted global supply chains, enabling diverse operators from the UAE to the US to scale fleets without interruption. China's Comac is rapidly emerging as a serious challenger to Airbus and Boeing. With its C919 and smaller C909 jets, attracting strong interest in Southeast Asia. AirAsia is in active talks to purchase the C919, while Air Cambodia has already signed for up to 20 C909 aircraft. With rising regional travel demand and Western manufacturers facing delivery delays, Comac offers airlines a cost-effective and timely alternative 
This growing momentum could reshape the aviation landscape across Asia. While low-cost carrier Air Arabia received its first A320neo from a landmark 120 aircraft, order valued at $14 billion. The jet entered service on October 1, 2025, with its inaugural commercial flight from Sharjah, UAE, to Bangkok, Thailand, powered by Pratt and Whitney engines. This marks a significant step in Air Arabia's fleet expansion. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comment section.